What's up everybody? Today's video, I'll be unboxing my very first mail call of the new year. So stay tuned and see what I got in these. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Comic Big Chris. And like I said in the intro, this is gonna be the very first mail call of the new year, which I was actually hoping of getting it done today which is New Year's Eve as I'm recording this because this thing just arrived today and was supposed to arrive earlier in the week. So I was hoping to have it up as, hey, the last mail call of 2021. Now it's gonna go into 2022. Anyways, let me shut up here. So I got one, two, three, four, five packages here. And um, let's just get right into it. I'll move off to the side, these boxes, and we'll open up this first envelope from Amazon. Now, this right here, I was shopping for resealable bags and boards, and I saw this company on Amazon called Titan Shield. Now, this right here is 150 bags for $12, if I remember correctly. I'll edit the information right here. But yeah, 150 bags for 12 bucks, I believe. Uh, can't go wrong with that. And so some of these books in here are back issues. So uh, at the end of the video, I'll have them rebagged and boarded with these right here. So Titan Shield, resealable comic book bags for current stuff. All right. Now let's go on to, um, yeah. Let's, let's do uh, this one right here first uh, from Lone Star Comics, or you guys might know them as MikeComicShop.com. So let's get right into this box right here. I'm gonna try to make this video uh, a little bit quicker because uh, this bottom one right here, that's gonna be the grand finale. So that's gonna take a little bit. And, okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, gotta find the scene. Or, you know, I'm just terrible at this. I can't find the scene sometimes. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, it's gonna go hold on it. Just, it's the end of the year. Why the fuck not? Okay. Oh, look at that. You know what I love about my comic shop is that these boards that they provide with the comics. <laughs> oh, so much trash got cleaned up. All right. Now, I was really excited with this one right here because I, you know, I may not show it as often, but I am a really big Wolverine fan. So much so that I actually have Wolverine tattooed right here on my side. And I'll show it some other time, my tattoos, but the reason why I don't, it's just, I really don't want anyone to get pregnant. But enough of that talk right there. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Okay, there we go. Envoys. Okay, so we'll just start right here. So what I was missing from my Volume 2, two run is issue 38 right here. Issue 133 right here. Say that one last. Issue 140. Issue 37. And oh, it's a new stand too. Issue 37. And this one right here, this is like the negative zero issue, if I'm reading that correctly, if I remember. This right here. And then this one right here. Well, this stack right here, all these books were like $2. But this one right here, I got it for dirt cheap. You would not believe it. Uh, they probably upped the price on these already. There might be another one left, but we got issue 155, that life roll cover. And out of this run, I think all I'm missing now is just 154. And then I have it completed in its entirety. So 154 I'm on a hunt for, but I got this for $8. I know, 
eight dollars but uh it looks great it looks really great you could use a little tender loving care up here on the top a little pressing to get that out but yeah that's the first package wolverine books right there now let's get into package number two which is from midtown comics now you're wondering chris why do you have a double dragon comic right here well because growing up double dragon was my game i played in the arcade i played on the nintendo and when i was a little kid i saw that they had comic books of double dragon but i didn't buy them and this came in on one of my packages a week ago. I accidentally left it in the cart and bought it on accident. I had to buy it all in one place from these guys. Instead, I bought these from my comic shop like a couple weeks ago. And I'm like, oh shit, well now I have to go get the rest because they're like a dollar each. They're really cheap. So that's what we're gonna be expecting out of this one right here. And there's another goodie inside this package right here. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we got Double Dragon 1 right here, and we got Issue 2. We have it all out of order. Issue 3. Issue 4. And how about that? These guys included these already in resealable bag and boards. Issue five and issue six. But these bag and boards are a little bit bigger, so. Anyways, so we got the complete run of Double Dragon Comics. These were just pure nostalgia buy, because I, I just remember back in the day, in the 80s, sleepovers, this was the one of the main co-op games. Well, the first game was not a co-op game, but these were the games to play. We always would take turns. It's basically how I really got into martial arts, to be uh, honest. It was Double Dragon. But the final book out of this shipment is actually... Um, damn, I'll just take it out of the bag. Is this issue of Rampaging Wolverine right there. Look how badass that is. Rampaging Wolverine. Excellent. Alright, so that's the end of that package. And go into package number three. This is from Paper Films, uh, the people that are doing the new Painkiller Jane books. This is actually their Kickstarter uh, project that I backed, as, as well as this one right here. This is from someone completely different, but we'll get into the Painkiller Jane Kickstarter books. So if I remember correctly, in my uh, pledge, uh, I went with two, two covers. And off the top of my head, I cannot remember the one particular cover, but the other cover is a, uh, an Amanda Connor variant, and it's a, um, well, it's a uh, not safe for work variant, is what they called it, and so when I get it out, I'm going to have to uh, censor it, but those of you who follow me on Instagram, at Comic Big Chris on Instagram. I'll probably have the book posted there uncensored. Because right now, I'm trying to push the limits with IG because they think they're trying to cancel me because of some of my memes. I have, I have a dark humor for the most part, let's just say. And I've offended some kids on IG. Okay, yeah, okay, so the first one 
is uh, the Josh Burns variant. That's okay, cool. It's got the name right there. So, Painkiller Jane, uh, Heartbreaker, issue one, Josh Burns variant. I thought this was a badass cover right here. And these are, these are pretty thick. I already read the book because with the Kickstarters, you also get access to the digital PDFs and they'll send it to you and you just download it to your Dropbox. So, read it already. And then this one right here, they already have it censored. But let's see, let me pull that thing out and then we can actually see the goodies. Or I'm gonna have to, yeah, let me do it this way. Oh, cool. Before I show off the, the cover, uh, we did get a little thing, vinyl, of stickers right there. That is awesome. Sweet. And let me see <laughs> really quick. I'm actually going to put a <laughs> tone band on the cover so I can show you guys and not get deemed. Okay. Okay, cool. Now the reveal. This is the Amanda Connor variant that's not safe for work right there. And yes, if you guys are looking closely, you can see that there are two signatures on it. We got uh, Amanda Connor's signature and Jim Polymod, Jim Polymod, Mod, Jim, Jim, whatever. But anyways, on the back, we got a certificate of authenticity. Oh, that's awesome. Very awesome right there. So I'm happy with this right here. And then don't don't you worry, guys, in the uh, the group chat on uh, IG. I'm gonna show the uncensored one to you guys first, okay? Cool. By the time you guys watch the video, you've already, I've already shown you the damn book. Okay, so now. Alright, so now the grand finale of this unboxing is Lady Mechanica, uh, the monster of the Ministry of Hell. Okay, so. This is the regular cover. Uh, the Kickstarter actually got funded and because they met all their goals, this book can now be published in its entirety uh, through Image Comics. It's just, that's the way how I guess um, indie publishers uh, function. You know, you gotta raise money or have the money. And so the Kickstarter was to launch the, uh, I think it's a four part uh, mini series because they're all like short issue mini series. And so they'll be publishing the rest of the issues through Image Comics. But this one, this one's gonna have the Kickstarter exclusives. So we got brick of books right there. And nothing else in the box. So I'll just drop that off right here. These are cool. I can't wait to show you guys. So this part right here is going to probably require some fancy smancy editing. All right. Maybe not so much. Let's try to save this bubble wrap because recycle people. Recycle when you send books out to your friends or you sell books or whatever. You want to recycle. Come on. Okay. This is a sweet box. So here's the box that all these books have come in. And then the back right there. Sweet, sweet. So, open it up. Now, these are going to be some pretty dope books. So, but before we get into the comics, this is the uh, the unlocked uh, the unlocked stretch goals. So these are all the goodies that we got for free. So we'll get into it. So first up, 
we got one bookmarker. A postcard. Let me see it. Yeah, like that. I'm so awkward. A sticker. Maybe a lot of shit in here. Another sticker. A postcard. Second postcard. Another postcard. Another postcard from this series right here. A bumper sticker. Looks like we got three trading cards. Gosh, it's, oh, make that four trading cards. Mr. Lewis. And these look like refrigerator magnets. We got one, two, three, four, and five. And then the last two items in the envelope is this cute little keychain. And then we've got back of it. And then Son of a bitch. It is hot in here. And then a pen. Awesome stuff. Now, let's get into the books. Okay. So, all of these books are going to be uh, homage covers to the, the Image Comics Kickstarter. So, I'm going to turn it this way. And they're all signed by Joe Benitez. And these are all pretty thick too. So, first homage cover is Sangre homaging Spawn. And it's got a pretty cool uh, certificate of authenticity in the back because Joe Benitez did sign the book right down here. The next variant, this is sweet is Lady Mac, mechanically enhanced something for hero or whatever, but this is a Wildcats homage right there. And then certificate. This one is Youngblood homage. That's pretty cool with certificate sign oh next one is the savage dragon number one homage with certificate signed it son next one it's got to be my favorite stream I mean, sorry, Steam Force, but this is the Cyber Force one. Swipe, that's pretty sweet. I love Cyber Force. Two more. All right, we got the homage to uh, Jim Lee's uh, Wetworks, if I remember it correctly. Wetworks, yes. This is the back of it. This is actually a. Uh, a fold, gatefold, so on the back of it is the full image of the, of the cover. But this one's pretty sweet. We got the homage for Shadowhawk right there in foil. That is awesome. Sweet. All right, that's the mail call of the for the new year. Um, Hell yeah, what do you guys think? Leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, 
uh, share this video. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, man, just let me know. I'll keep doing these. Uh, I got to do something instead of waiting on uh, comic books coming back from grading, you know. So I want to keep putting out content at least once a week. But yeah. Uh, what was your favorite part of this unboxing? Was it the Lady Mechanica? Was it the Painkiller Jane? Was it just the back issues? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna pass on putting the books in the uh, the new bags because they're already in pretty decent uh, bags already. So yeah, that's the video. Uh, until next time, uh, you guys have. I uh, hope you guys had a great New Year's. Uh, everyone stayed safe, got home, had a great time partying, drinking. Awesome. Talk to y'all later.